In a world struggling under the weight of economic challenges, a powerful beacon of hope emerges within the Catholic Church. Archbishop Ignatius Ayao Kaigama orchestrated a momentous annual gathering for priests and religious from the Abuja Archdiocese, shining a light of inspiration and unity amidst uncertainty. The annual significant meeting unfolded at the Church of the Archangels in Gadua coinciding with the Feast of Presentation on February 2nd. The atmosphere was filled with reverence, as Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Ayao Kagama, the Archbishop himself, led the Mass and imparted words of wisdom to the devoted attendees. During this sacred gathering, Archbishop Kaigama emphasized the urgent call for priests and religious to renew their commitment to Jesus and uphold their promise of unwavering faithfulness. The Magi, when they came to greet Jesus, they called God gifts and presented them to Jesus. We today, on this list of the presentation, are presenting not any other material gift, but the gift of ourselves. We are renewing our offer of ourselves to Jesus, asking Him to take possession of all of us, to use us as He wills to mold us and shape us as he desires. And we are promising him that we shall be faithful to him all the days of our life. This is the gift we present today. The gift of heart, mind, and soul, all in totality. And I'm sure Jesus is happy when we offer such gifts. And I always like attending the Mass of 2nd February if I am available, if I have not traveled. I like it so much because for me it's a practical sermon on how unity should be and how we should remind ourselves of our offer, our gift to God. We have given up everything to serve God. And we are told that who lays his hand or her hand on the power and looks back is not worthy of the kingdom of God. So we gather like this to remind ourselves that we have given ourselves. Let us not hold back anything. Let's not reserve anything. Let's give totally and then we shall also receive totally. This annual assembly aims to fortify the bonds within the community of priests and religious, urging them to stand together in service to God and the salvation of souls. Some live in Kwari, some live in Kwari Pan. No, we are all scattered and there must be something to bring us together. Otherwise we operate as, as independent entities. We operate as islands. Everybody doing his thing, everybody doing her own thing, but that is not what the Lord wants. The Lord wants unity, the Lord wants harmony, the Lord wants mutual respect and then understanding of ourselves. There is the artificial side of Abuja and there is the real side of Abuja. Every Sunday I go out somewhere. Last week I even went to twice different places. You know, there are many places in need of help, in need of help, not just Abuja, Maitama, Tokoro and all these places. It's not what you see here that is happening outside. And that is why I would like my collaborators, the priests, the religious, to see what I am seeing. And let us join hands together and do something for the salvation of souls. You know, if we don't do, we lose these people. There are so many people, so many people around us that need help. So, in order to help them, we must first help ourselves spiritually. 
Among the apostles, Jesus allowed some to come very close to him. Like Peter, like James and John, they were very close, very intimate at the Transfiguration, at the institution of the Eucharist, at, at, in Gethsemane, they were all very, very close. And we are supposed to be those apostles, very close. The lay people are there, they are baptized, some are living in marriage and so on, very good. But we, we have opted to come closer to Jesus so that we help ourselves and we help them. So we call to be very, very close to Jesus. And that is where we shall draw spring. Despite their diverse affiliations, all priests and religious share a common purpose, to worship and serve the same God. This unity is essential for the growth and prosperity of the Archdiocese of Abuja. Fostering collaboration and mutual respect among the devoted servants spread across distant locations. I want us to understand ourselves better I want us to see a common vision. I want us to be embarked to be embarked on a mission that is of great service to the Archdiocese and above all for the salvation of souls. They all belong to different congregations and everybody is doing his best to ensure they add some quality, something beautiful to the work of God here in the Archdiocese of Abuja. They shouldn't create this artificial dichotomy between religious and diocese. We are all worshipping the same God, serving the same God, and so we should always come together. In a world clouded by challenges and despair, Archbishop Kaigama highlighted the indispensable role of priests and religious as guiding lights for those who are weary and downtrodden. In a country where, you know, merit doesn't count. The young people all over the streets, people are tired. People are frustrated. They are despaired. People are hungry. People have no hope. They are going around, nothing to do, and then they engage in criminality. And then we are wondering why are there crimes committed in Nigeria? Before, we only had a Maitasine, that ha went. Then Boko Haram, it has almost become normal now. Nobody thinks it's something extraordinary. Even though they are killing and destroying and all that, then the, band the bandits came on board. Now the kidnappers, how many of our sisters, our priests have been kidnapped? Where is the hope? So, I am trying to say we are the hope. That we can still be so calm and come together to pray, to invoke God Almighty to bring his peace upon us is something great. Just as Jesus stood by his disciples during the moments of trial and tribulation, the priests and religious are called to unite in a mission of salvaging souls and offering hope to the lost and faithless. The gathering of priests and religious in the Abuja Archdiocese stands as a testament to the resilience and solidarity of the Catholic Church. It serves as a beacon of inspiration for all Catholics, underscoring the power of faith and the strength found in community. The joy and fulfillment expressed by the religious and priests at the opportunity to engage with Archbishop Kaigama reflect a shared dedication to the collective mission of spreading light in a world shrouded in darkness. Actually, today is a, a day for the consecrated women and the religious men and women. So this is a special day for us, the presentation of the child Jesus to the temple. That's a day for the religious men and women. And today, in a special way,
as children of God. Because today Jesus has been presented in the temple. So we give thanks to God for our vocation, for the gift of our vocation. And then it also calls us to remember that, you know, we are to be the 